In this video I'm going to talk about how to connect two combo boxes to make some sort of a hierarchy effect. I've got two combo boxes here. One is region and all the regions are selected here and uh, I've got all the uh, locations which this combo box contains all the locations. So now what I want to do is when I select north I only want the locations for the north to pop up or when I select west I only want the locations for the west to pop up but right now that's not happening. So there's a couple things that I need to do in order to get this done. The first thing I want to note is that my form's name is called FRM Main. So that we got that, keep that in the back of our mind. And now I want to go ahead and name these combo boxes. So I'm going to name uh, this particular combo box, the region one, uh, TMB Region. Okay. And then I want to right click here and name this market or local location combo box um, CMB Location. Okay, so now I've, both of my combo boxes have very distinct names that I, I, I can remember. So now I'm going to want to design the location of combo box in order to incorporate a filter for region. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on it and hit properties. And I'm going to click on row source and click on the triple dots here. And that will bring me to the query builder view. So now I want to say, I, I want to select locations. I want to bring down region and I want to make this a where statement. So I want to select locations where the region equals forms frm main cmb region. So now this is saying that I do want to select locations for the location combo box, but only if the associated region is selected in the CMB region combo box in the FRM main form. So now all this is good and I'm going to go ahead and save it. And there's one more thing that I have to do before this works. I have to basically put a, a requery event on this location combo box. Uh, when a combo box is activated or uh, when a form is opened that has a combo box on it, there's some event that triggers a, a query uh, on, on the data that's behind this combo box. If this form is already open, for example, this form is open and you'll see north here. I've got the locations for only the north here in this combo box because that's what the query told it. Well, that's basically what we told the combo box to do when we changed that query. If I select south, it didn't change to show the locations for the south because we didn't requery this combo box. There's got to be some event that triggers a requery. And here's how you do that. Let's go back to form design and we're going to go ahead and put some sort of event in the region uh, combo box that says after I update the region, let's go ahead and requery the locations in order to get the right data. So I'm going to go to properties, event, and I'm going to go ahead and do a after update event. Okay, and this is the, the command that I'm going to put in here. I'm going to put in me CMB location requery me referencing the form, CMB location referencing uh, the combo box, and then requery is the command that we want to, uh, the action that we want to take. Alright, so now we have a, uh, a requery event triggering. So now when we select north, you'll see all the markets for the north here. When we select south, this location combo box uh, requeried, and now we've got only the mar locations for the south, and then west only locations for the west. And you can add layers to this. You can actually add another layer to your hierarchy here. And you'll find that it's virtually no work and uh, almost no code. And you'll find that it's a very useful addition to uh, your application development and access.